whenever you are planning your trip to Waco, when you come down here to experience all that Magnolia has to offer, you should come hungry because there is plenty to eat. All right, bacon toast to Magnolia table. Cheers, mm. cheers. It's the best toast so far. All right, what are you gonna try first? The Chief Operating Officer of Food for Magnolia is Becky Shepard. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That title is insane. Chief Operating Officer of Food. Whenever people ask me, I still a little bit stutter because I, I'm like, oh, that is my title. This is what I do. Incredible. Um, so fun. So fun. Right now, we are sitting in one of the back rooms of Magnolia Table, this restaurant is stunning, starting with the outside. Just kind of tell me a little bit about the feel of this place. Yeah, I think that in the beginning, Chip and Joe really wanted a diner, but they wanted it to feel and look like Magnolia and wanted to welcome people from all over our locals and people traveling and people coming to see specifically Magnolia, wanted it to feel welcoming, familiar, but also just some unexpected fun things mixed in. I've been looking forward to this Magnolia Table breakfast appetizer since I found out we were coming to Waco. I mean, this is how you start breakfast. Bacon and deviled eggs. If I had a bite of this with my eyes closed, I'd think it was a cinnamon roll. Crispy on the outside, cheesy, buttery, amazing. The hash brown fritter, wow. <laughs> it is a strawberry butter and this biscuit is extra buttery. <laughs> so when you put the two butters together, it's a butter, strawberry, flavorful explosion. I never knew I needed so many types of butter in my life. Who said butter makes it better? Everybody. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna go home and start churning all the butter. <laughs> like breakfast is always good, but how do you elevate breakfast to this level? I think I'm in breakfast heaven. And in Chip and Joe fashion, this restaurant is a fixer-upper in a way. This has history. How long has this restaurant been in business? So for over 100 years, it was originally the Elite Cafe. This was before refrigeration. There were menu items that just had to be held in a different way. Pimento cheese comes to mind. You see that kind of woven through our menu. You see it in our cookbooks. And it's neat because it started with a story. That was the first item that we ate here. And it was like moment of silence. <laughs> Call the family because this is delicious. I think it's one of those things in the South that you probably, if you're from the South, you ate as a child. And I remember like eating it like on celery boats. I just think it's like a Southern staple. It's one of those things that you can kind of put with anything. I've seen people pair it with our biscuits. We recently put it on our burger, the 254 burger. I can't wait to see you eat this burger. There's no turning back. Good luck, let's go big. Peter tried that burger and he's tried a lot of burgers. What do you think? <laughs> flavors in that are amazing. Is it more delicious than it looks? Because it looks delicious. Yes, it's really good. So good, because normally you have pimento cheese cold. When you heat it up and it's melting off of a burger, it's yes. different. It's, it's different. It's just like cascade and it kept getting more beautiful the longer <laughs> right. we took its picture. Right. It's an incredible burger. Seriously, that's really good. That's a big old sandwich. You have to take two bites. You have to take a bite of the top half, and then you have to take a bite of the bottom half and then you chew so you get everything together. And that's the perfect bite. Where should we go next? You wanna do French toast next? Mm -hmm. French toast crunch. All right. Tell me about the recipes. Where do these items come from? So Jo has been cooking for her family for a long time. Should I just pour it? Yeah. Loves to entertain, loves to create new recipes and very much a part of our process. And so it makes all of our items not just unique in the moment, but they have history. That's what breakfast dreams are made of. This moment right here, the syrup pour. So beautiful. 
I want to be on like the food taste testing team for Magnolia. Cheers. I think one of the all-stars for us in trying so many menu items was the French toast. Cornflakes make everything better. Why don't I put cornflakes on more things? When you add an extra crunch, it, it takes them to the next level. I wonder who came up with this idea to bread French toast in cornflakes. Had to be Chip. Had to be Chip. <laughs> <laughs> Will you tell me about that? Because that is not your average French toast. It's not. Through a lot of Joe's travels, she comes back and she just has like refreshed energy and she's like, I had the most amazing this. Can y'all, you know, recreate it? And it was one of her trips and she came back and was just like, it's crunchy, it's this, it's that. And so we went back and forth and then she came up here, we ran through it a couple of times and she's like, change this crunch to this, make it this, you know? And so finally we landed it and it's so good. Isn't it just phenomenal? I kept going back to it. Like that was my <laughs> palate cleanser in between trying all the other items. So I was like, like back to the French dip. One more bite of dessert. Yeah, it's so good. It's like state fair good. Like if this was a fair food, this is what I would eat at the fair. But no, I can just eat it here at Magnolia Table. Thank you so much for feeding us and spoiling us through food and through this experience since we've been here. So good, we're so glad that you guys came. To plan your visit, go online to magnolia.com backslash visit. You can take a look at all that Magnolia has to offer, including the delicious menu items. Okay, maybe I have room for one more bite of this French toast.